Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video The D Design Enthusiasts Today we are diving into the seamless integration of creativity and storage Join me for a quick guide on connecting Canva to Google Drive in 2024 Let's make sure your masterpieces are just a click away in the cloud Stay tuned So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so guys in this specific video we need a couple of things so the first is obviously to go ahead to canva and get your account ready which is pretty simple just log in using your email and you will be good to go so here i am and now i have created my email so here you will find your account and here you will find everything from settings etc and you might also find here third party apps but the third party apps of Canva itself doesn't really allow you to get to connect Google Drive. And the second thing that we will need in this video is a Google account. So you just have to sign up with Gmail and create a Google account so you can get the access to Google Drive. After you have these two conditions, you have to go ahead and go and open this website, which is called Zapier. Zapier is a website that can allow us to automate two different uh, apps and in another word it can link them together and make them connect together so here what we're gonna do simply go ahead and click on apps and from apps you simply have to go right here and search for canva so here we go you can find canva here you can find a lot of other application from Canva to Google Drive as you can see here so here it is Google Drive for example I can click here we can search for Canva and add Canva so yeah I have Canva already added so I don't have to re-add it once more so here I'm just gonna search for Google Drive in that case because I have already Canva added so let's search for Google Drive here it is click on it and click on add connection after that, you have to give them the access to your Google Drive. So select one of your accounts that you have, give them the uh, like the permission, and here we go. So here, let me just delete this one. And as you can see here, we have this account, which is the account that I am using as my Google Drive. Let's click on test connection to make sure that connection is tested successfully and the connection is correctly done. The same thing has to be done with your account on Canva. After you finish connecting these two applications with Zapier, it's just time to connect them together. So simply just click right here to create and it will have five options. In our case, we are just going to go with Zaps. So just like that. And here, we are simply going to do is to write a prompt. So here we're going to type a prompt that's going to basically explain what we want exactly from Zapier to do. So here, I will simply say, synchronize my Canva account with my Google Drive. Then click on generate. And simply now, all we need to do is to wait for the app, which is Zapier, to generate uh, any kind of um, results. So here we go. Synchronize Canva designs with Google Drive. This is exactly what we want. So here we go. I'm going to click on try it. And here, guys, you have to put two things in your mind. The first thing is these two apps. There is no other app between them. Sometimes it will give you another app or another automation between them. So make sure that there is only two apps in here. The second thing is basically make sure that the first app is the one that will do the first action for example in our case we will create canva design in here and once for example we save it or we finish it it will automatically go ahead and be uploaded and saved in your or our uh, google drive account so it will never be lost this is exactly what we want so canva is first and here google drive is the second so here the new design is created in Canva and here create a file in Google Drive which will save the results of Canva. So let's click here, choose the account and do the same thing with your Canva account. So here we go, 
choose the drive where you want to put it uh, here if there is any folder find name you should give it a name normally it will be named after the name of your project that you have made in Canva so you don't have to worry about that so once you finish with that and you have everything set up correctly simply just click on continue to finish required fields and after that you will have to test it and once you are done with these two connections what you have to do is to simply go ahead and click on publish which is right in the top right corner so these are basically the steps that you have to do and the sign note which is very very important is let me just close that so here as you can see on the main screen or the home page we have only 100 tasks so this is the free account which has only 100 tasks 100 tasks for example if i was creating uh, several like let's say that i'm creating more than 100 canva design per month only the first 100 are going to be saved in my google drive the others are basically going to be lost so yeah guys that was basically it there is nothing complicated about the connection of your canva account with your google drive everything was simple and easy to go so thank you guys a lot for watching if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and see you guys in the next tutorial